Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in Python. Today we're going to have a look at a basic for loop. So here's the syntax. You just type in for i in range, put a bracket, put in here a number, the amount of times you want the loop to repeat the code inside of it, close your brackets and don't forget your colon. Now after the colon, if you hit enter, Python will automatically indent to the correct amount for you. You can then put the code in that you want to repeat. So in this case I'm just doing a very simple print statement and I'll be printing the word hi to the screen ten times. So let's see that working. And there you have it, just hi printed ten times to the screen. Very quick basic. Now to understand what's going on we actually need to understand what this letter I is. Now you can put anything here, you could call it X, you could call it Fred if you like. You know, I can put X here and run the code and you know it's going to work exactly the same as before. Now what this I or X is, it's a counter variable. So basically the variable you put here will, will contain the count of the loop. Now that's a little bit of a strange concept to understand unless you actually see what's going on. So I'm going to just put i and a comma into my print statement and that will print the contents of i each run through the loop and that should illustrate more clearly what's going on. So here you have it. So in the first run through the loop we get 0 printed for i, second run through the loop 1 and then so on all the way down to the number 9. So basically what's happening, we start at 0, we go all the way up to 9 and then the loop quits. So when we put for i in range 10, we get the loop running 10 times, but the actual counter variable itself starts at 0, not at 1. And that's useful to understand. Now, one thing you could use a for loop for would be to, for example, make a quiz, and you could automatically use the variable i or x or whatever you've called it to print out the numbers of the questions. It can be quite useful. Now, in this case, you wouldn't want it to start from 0, you'd want it to start from 1. So here we'll show you now the second way of doing this. We can start off at 1, put a comma. Now, if we went up to 10, we'd only get it printing 1 to 9, so we have to change that to 11. So now we're printing in the range of 1 and 11. So if we run this, you can now see it's printing the numbers 1 to 10 and obviously high again 10 times. So that's two quick ways of doing a for loop. You can either just put one number in and it will print that many times or run the code inside here that many times or you can put between two numbers and then it will go up to one under the number you put in the second position. So quite quick, quite easy, quite useful. Now whilst this might seem a little bit basic at the moment, there are so many uses for a for loop you wouldn't believe. Getting code to repeat a set amount of times is very very useful and we'll go into that in more depth in later tutorials. But for now the main things to understand is you can use this to repeat a section of code. The technical term for this is iteration and it's just getting a section of code to repeat a set number of times. Okay, well have some fun with that. And if you want to do what most programmers do when they first start, you can put a silly number in here, run your code, and watch with amusement as your code prints out whatever you want a huge number of times. So, bit of fun there. But anyway, see you next time. Bye for now.